We have to understand life in order to really save its diversity and create a healthier planet. For most of the species we're trying to conserve, one of the greatest impediments is our lack of knowledge about the biology of the species. I believe that species that have their genome sequenced were more likely to be able to successfully intervene to prevent their extinction. What's happening in many species is that the genetic diversity has shrunk to almost nothing. We need to capture that genetic information so that we can ensure that species going forward don't lose it, that they never lose it. The Genome 10K project is a evocative and I think a visionary collaboration of uh, hundreds of scientists across the world, we decided that the price of sequencing was dropping so rapidly, my colleagues and I, that we ought to begin preparing for the time when sequencing would become cheap enough to sequence and analyze every species that we can catch. One of the things that's been innovative within the Genome 10K is the production of the assemblathon and the alignathon. The assembly and the annotation, these are buzzwords that scientists use for taking these letters and making sense out of them, turning them into a book we can read. When you think about a project like Genome 10K, one of the things that's really essential is the team. And it's a team that's really taking on one of the most important problems in biology. They're crazy enough to imagine trying something like this. 10,000 genomes is not too many to uh, imagine sequencing and assembling. By comparing the genomes of different animals that are built to do different things, I'm going to be able to determine, you know, what, what's the Achilles heel? What's the thing that makes an animal vulnerable in its environment? Can I find something out about how these animals are built that will allow me to save them? This technology is also useful and available to getting the genomes of things that died long ago. We're looking at genetic diversity that has recently been lost in populations and trying to use these technologies to identify mutations or diversity that used to exist in this population but doesn't anymore and then come up with new technologies to re-engineer these populations on the brink of extinction to contain diversity that's recently been lost. It seemed like a crazy thing but at Santa Cruz we're happy to propose crazy things and you know in this case five years later it doesn't seem so crazy. <laughs>